I think the UPR process is indeed quite important because it gives an opportunity for the Human Rights Council to dialogue with every state in the world about its efforts to strengthen national protection of human rights at home. So conceptually, the idea of a national protection system is central. The dialogue with each member state is important. And the universality of states' participation in this dialogue with the Human Rights Council, I think that this is unprecedented. So I think that potentially it's a very important process. When it comes to the five-year review of the Human Rights Council, insofar as it touches on the review, I would counsel confidence building, because already it's very important that all member states will have participated in the first round. The international community is learning with this process so far. And so I have seen that People are discussing a five-year uh, cycle, a four-and-a-half-year cycle. Quite frankly, I don't think that this is decisive. What I think is decisive is the quality of the participation of member states in the process. And so I think that perhaps even after the review is over, that the UPR Info, the Office of the High Commissioner, other NGOs, they should take a deep look at how, in a cooperative manner, member states can be assisted to participate in an in-depth way in the UPR process. Of course, NGOs like UPR Info and others can play a really very important role in this process. Because, but this has to be done with confidence building has to be done in a way that states that are nervous, perhaps, that states are encouraged to participate in the process. I have seen much discussion about the idea that states should take more seriously all recommendations, and I respect that. I think that, from my point of view, the Human Rights Council would be well advised to focus on those recommendations to deal with the strengthening of the national protection system of each state. Because there are dozens of questions that are asked, dozens of recommendations that are made, some of them are very quality, but what is decisive is which of the recommendations tend to the, in the direction of helping the state to strengthen its national protection system. And so, Unless the Human Rights Council finds a way of focusing on strengthening the national protection system of each state, it will be losing an opportunity in the UPR process. Well, you ask me about why I accepted to be president of UPR Info and what I think about UPR Info, and I must be very candid to say that since I left the position of UN High Commissioner um, in 2004-2005, I've been very careful to, um, to be a private person. I have written a lot, I have published a lot, but I've been a private person and I have declined off invitations to serve on boards and NGOs, etc. I was attracted by the idea of being with these young people in UPR Info because, as I said, of the centrality of the UPR process, of the confidence building manner and the discretion with which uh, Roland and his colleagues are approaching uh, UPR info, of the dynamism that they have brought to uh, this, to the, in the establishment of this organization and to the work that they're doing. And like I said, I think it's important to, I think it's, I should really say this, the fact that these were young people who established UPR Info and are running it in such a wise manner, I felt that yes, young people deserve to be supported. So, El Presidente in favor of the young people.